going to be talking about basic hermit crab care. And a disclaimer, I in no way, shape, or form encouraging you to go out and get a hermit crab because hermit crabs that you see in the pet store and hermit crabs that are on like seaside shops, they're taken from the wild. This is a video for anyone who has a hermit crab already and so you guys can give them the best care. I'm not saying go out and buy a hermit crab, but it's ultimately your choice. So the first thing we're going to be talking about is their enclosure. And it's often, it's oftentimes called a crab attack. And what pet stores and seaside shops try to sell to you are these little tiny cages, which are not good for hermit crabs at all. And then some, some people sell you these round wire cages, which those are even worse because they cannot keep humidity at all and humidity and heat are important to hermit crabs. So when picking out your enclosure, I highly, highly recommend a tank. And people say, oh yeah, well, we can get plastic, but plastic is gonna be much harder to heat than glass, a glass aquarium is gonna be. Okay, so now we figured out what kind of enclosure you guys should have but how big of a tank you guys should have well it all depends on what kind of crabs you have and how many and how big they are and if you have small crabs then you could get away with a 10 gallon tank but if you have bigger crabs then I would recommend upgrading to a 20 gallon tank it all depends on your preference, I guess, but there's no no lower than a 10 gallon. But a 20 ga a 20 gallon long is the ideal um, size for hermit crabs because you can just fill it up with a bunch of stuff and it's very enriching for your hermit crabs. And you have to realize that hermit crabs grow every time they molt so just because you get a hermit crab that's this big doesn't mean that they're going to stay that big forever okay so the next thing we're going to be talking about is your substrate lots of people think that gravel is good for um hermit crabs but it's really not and gravel is bad because it, they can't burrow in it doesn't hold its shape and gravel can get stuck in your hermit crab shell and could kill your hermit crab. Another thing that isn't good is calcium sand. Like it's also marketed as, uh, as hermit crab sand. This is bad because when it's wet it cements up and it can get inside your hermit crab shell and ultimately kill them. So. I don't recommend either of those. Lots of people choose to use children's play sand, which is perfectly safe and, and it's cheap too. But my personal favorite thing is EcoWorth and it's coconut fiber and it's relatively cheap. And it comes in a brick and you put it in water and then it expands like 10 times the size. And I recommend Eco Earth to anybody who has hermit crabs. Another debated topic is how deep your subject, substrate should be. And the general rule of thumb, it should be three times the height of your hermit crab. So if your hermit crab, if your hermit crab is two inches high, then you should have six inches of substrate. But Lots of people say six inches is the bare minimum, no matter the size of the hermit crab. And it's ultimately up to you, but your hermit crab needs to be able to bury down them down themselves down in the substrate so they can molt. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna be talking about is the heating and your hood. I would recommend a solid hood, not a mesh hood, because um, if you have a mesh hood, then humidity and heat can escape really easily. And um, a 
a light is optional you don't you don't need a light but if you want a light it provides extra heat for your hermit crab but if you just want to get a plexiglass or a glass top for your um, for your tank then that will be okay too also if you don't if you have a mesh top and you can't afford to get a, a solid top uh, so a temporary solution would be to put over put plastic wrap over the lid and that will help keep the humidity in and um, for, as for heat um, the best option is to get a uh, under tank heater and put it on the side of your hermit crab tank and that works very well to heat your tank as for humidity, you should be spraying down your crab attack um, every day or every other day and you should be making sure your pools are filled up. Now we're going to talk about decor and shelves. Now designing and decorating your hermit crab tank can be one of the, fun, the most fun thing ever. Hermit crabs love to climb and they love to dick. So, I would recommend you can get fake plants, fake trees, logs, ropes, nets, you can get um, hides, you can make caves out of your um, substrate. You just want to enrich your hermit crab's life and make it really exciting for them. And you must have some, some sort of hiding, cool hiding place for your hermit crab in case they want to get out of the heat. So you can buy one or you can make one easily out of a plastic container. Another thing that you must have for your hermit crab are shells. You need to have a wide variety of shells for them to choose from. Hermit crabs are very, very, very picky when it comes to shells. And they like to change their shells often. So, especially if you have more than one hermit crab in the tank, you need to have a wide variety of shells because if a hermit crab likes the, if one hermit crab likes the shell that the other one is using, then they can pull the other hermit crab out of the shell and that's very dangerous. So you need to make sure that you have a wide variety of shells for them to choose from. Another thing that um, lots of you will see in pet stores and seaside shops is that Hermit crabs are in painted shells. These painted shells are toxic for them. And please, when picking out shells for your hermit crabs, please stay away from painted shells and pick more natural shells. The next thing that you need is food and water. Um, for water, you need to have two pools. You need to have one salt water pool and one fresh water pool. And both pools need to be big enough for deep enough for your biggest crab to fully submerge in the water. As for diet, you need to have a wide variety of things. You can you should have a pellet diet. You should feed them raw fruits and vegetables and you should feed them dry fruits and vegetables and you should also feed them like a shrimp meal or something like that. And you need to provide a wide variety of food and if food isn't eaten, you should take it out um you should take out uneaten food if it's been in there over 24 to 48 hours just so it doesn't rot and harm the hermit crabs if they eat it and my last and final tip for you is do not depend on anything that the pet store says you need to do your own research before you get a pet and don't just depend on the pet store because a lot of the information that they have is wrong I will link a helpful link down below about more about hermit crab care and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you guys so much for watching.